I'm going home. <laughs> So this is it, the battle of the baddest. Tyson Fury against Francis Ngannou, the biggest crossover fight since Mayweather and McGregor. I'm gonna start with you first, Tyson. You've been up close and personal with Francis today. Yep. What do you make of this man? I think he's a big man, strong, very game, brave. But basically, what I see is this. There was a lot of boxers that was offered the chance to fight me, and they said no. However, Francis stepped up to the plate and now he's challenging the lineal heavyweight champion and WBC king. So hats off to Francis stepping up when the other boxers didn't. So fair play. This man can achieve anything he wants to. It's all up here. All in God's will as well. Everything. So the height difference, it wasn't as great as I expected it to be. I thought Tyson was going to be a lot taller than you. But he's only a little bit taller. They say he's 6'9". I mean... This doesn't look like five inches different, right? How tall are you? They say I'm 6'4". I think you're really about 6'2". Well, I would say you're 6'5". Six 6'5", five. Six five, then. They say I'm 5'5", yeah. five five, but I'm 5'4". Five <laughs> oh, there you uh, go. <laughs> um, how confident are you going into this fight? There's been a lot of boxers have tried to beat Tyson Fury, and none have, have been able to do so yet. Have you got real confidence that you can win? Of course. What do you think? I mean, we all know he's the best in the business. If you talk about boxing, basically heavyweight boxing, is the man. But I still have a confidence in myself because in the past, in my life, I've always been on the dock and I always preview where people didn't expect me. And I want to thank him for what he has done to put everything together, assemble everything for me to, to come grab and go. Yeah, grab and go. <laughs> okay. Um, there's been a lot of respect, but I think there was a little bit of irritation on both sides when you suggested that you could beat him in a cage or in an octagon. Mm -hmm. And you got a little bit, not, not offended, but you thought there's no way that's going to happen. No, there's not irritation. Listen, this is business. And for me, I come here, I do my job. I go home, you know, I enjoy life. And if I wasn't a fighter, I would be looking like, wow, what he's doing is great, right? My point is to go out there and prove that I'm a boxer mm -hmm. and by boxing the best in the world and beat him. You know? He deserves so, credit for thinking like this that. This is why I say give the man credit. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know he's taking the opportunity. Listen, I'm just a fat man, just a normal boxing man. You know, Anything can happen uh, in there. Nobody buy that. You know, nobody can buy that. <laughs> I wanted to ask, is there a concern for you? Because I, as a boxer, yeah. I always found it awkward fighting people with maybe novice, I'm not awkward calling Francis styles, a yeah. novice, but I mean, uh, awkward style, awkward style yeah. throwing unorthodox shots. Mm -hmm. You can't really defend, against, there's, you can't be nope. taught how to defend against these sort of things. This, that is, this is why I'm putting in 12 week training camp instead of a six week camp, which I usually do for like Wilder or um, White or Chisora. I usually do six weeks. I'm giving Francis 100% focus. And because he's not a boxer and he's coming from a different background, then I have to prepare more. Because with normal boxers, I can prepare, no, 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 it's going to come from the same angle, but with his awkward style, it might come from different directions. So I have to be prepared for that, and that's why I'm training hard as I can and giving it 100% um, respect. So Tyson's talked about his preparation for this fight, but how do you prepare for someone who's six foot nine but can move like a middleweight? Well, I prepare to make him move less, less. And I know that he asked for the biggest size of the ring possible. Oh, no, so, I, didn't, I didn't ask for any, any ring. I'll fight you in a phone box, no problem. Okay, <gasps> so you didn't ask for a 24 feet ring? No, nope. I didn't ask for any size ring. I've not even spoke to the guys. I okay. don't get involved in the business. Yeah. But the okay. championship ring is only 20 feet. So if they've asked for a 24 foot, let's do it in a 20 foot. Easy. They asked for 24. Well, so how do, how do you feel though that, that Tyson... He's prepared six weeks for Deontay Wilder, six weeks for some of his other big title fights. He's preparing 12 weeks for you. How does that make you feel? Well, I think that just a proof that uh, he's very smart. He knows that it is going to be a fight, uh, unlike some people are thinking. So, and I've been preparing for more than 12 weeks because this, to be honest, this is my first boxing training camp. And I, they say a lot of things that I am trying to understand 
as far as boxing is concerned. So the goal is to get there ready and give him the wall. And the, the press conference, you said that you can win by any means necessary. You can win by decision, you can win by KO. Do you really believe you can win by decision, Francis? I really believe that everything is possible. And let me tell you something. From where I came from, everything that I have done, nobody believed in me. They thought I was fool. The moment that I went to do a, a boxing, the first time, I was 22 years old and people think I was crazy. If I wasn't big and scary, even my family would have put me in a psychiatric hospital because they think I was losing my sense. Even my mom told me, hey son, I love you, but please, I hope, and I will always support you, but I hope that you come to your senses at some point of time, right? Yeah. Until I prove them wrong. But you're, you're talking about belief. Is that faith really important for both guys getting into this fight? Faith is something that is, has to be natural. You don't wake up like, I, I have to believe in this. No. If I didn't believe that I can do this, I wouldn't be leaving the UFC and go through all the stuff that I've been through to get out of my contract, to become a free man and to get here. And today, and it's uh, happening. You're a religious man, Tyson. Is it important to you to have the faith? I believe in faith, like he said earlier. If you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. And I proved it time and time again. With faith, anything is possible. And you've been in with big punchers. Deontay Wilder, supposedly the biggest punching heavyweight that there's ever been. And he had you on the deck. You get up like The Undertaker and get up and won the rest of that round, actually. Mm -hmm. But this man has been described as the hardest punching fighter that has ever lived, never mind boxer. Is that a concern? No. And what happens if he does land a punch? I don't get concerned over a man's ability because that's his God-given talent. He's strong and he can punch hard and knock men out. That's what he does. But all of these guys can punch hard. All heavyweights, if you let heavyweight hit you in the face, knock out. Sure. Sure. So it's up to me not to let that happen. You know, if he lands a punch on me, great. Yeah. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. But my chin is not like a piece of paper, like you just touch it and it falls over. You find out that I'm very tough. <laughs> Hence the reason I've had 34 fights unbeaten in 15 years. So yeah. it's, um, it's not like, oh, I'm going to get one hit and knock out. It's uh, going to be tough. I think we all know you're tough. We all know uh -huh. that you're tough as well, Francis. But what, a, what about Mike Tyson in this fight? How important is he going to be for you being successful? For me, it's very important. It was very important. He has always been important. When I... I've always looked at this fight as a, in the point of view of Mike Tyson. I'm the smallest guy inside, which is not something that happens very often. So I know that I need some, some techniques from somebody that has been in the smallest size. And nobody better than Mike Tyson because almost all, all his opening was smaller than him. Uh, when I met Mike Tyson the first time, we were talking and I still said, Whenever I fight Tyson Fury, will you be in my corner? He said, yes, brother, I get you. Yeah. I took a note. And then when the fight landed, I'm like, brother, <laughs> that thing is happening. Uh, how do you feel about Mike Tyson being involved? Is it a bittersweet moment almost because you're named after him? I imagine he's a bit of an idol to you. Yeah, he's a legend in the game and one of the biggest names in all of the world, never mind just sports or boxing. Um, and for Mike involved in this fight, in this event, it just uh, shows you how big it is. Mike's obviously a massive superstar, so for Mike to be in Francis's corner is very good for, for both of us. It's good for him because he's a trainer, but good for me because it's having Mike Tyson attached to this event. And he's going to be there in Saudi and be there ringside, and usually people pay him a lot of money to come watch a fight, never mind be involved in the corner. So it's a uh, fantastic, fantastic. But Mike Tyson has a very, very, very uh, famous saying. Everybody has a plan till they get punched in the mouth. Exactly. And that's it. So That's, a, that's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah. You take a word out of my mouth. Everybody has a plan. Everybody moves. Everybody has those things until they punch I'll out of the face. I'll ask Francis a question. Do you think I'm going to run away from you around the ring, like boxing away, using the jab and dancing? Because um, you said the 24-foot ring, so you must think I'm going to... Possible. Straight out, Where, me and uh, you in the middle. I don't, I don't know about that. I'm going to find out that day. I don't believe anything that you do now. I know you're a big character. And uh, not that I, I don't, not that, not I that I don't risk. I told Wilder that I was going to knock him out, did I? In the second fight, I said, I'm not going to box. I'm I didn't straight believe at him. Didn't believe you. You didn't believe me. No. Nobody did. Mm -hmm. I told him I'm going to knock him out on the front foot. 
I'm gonna push him back and knock him out, and I did. Okay, that's so you guys so both. That's you guys both business. As far as I'm concerned, I stick to my own plan, which yeah, is listen, what you we, We'll have a fight. Don't worry about that. That's what we're getting paid to do anyway. Have a fight. Look, it's clear the speed or style has changed a bit. It's a I'm lot more. It's a lot more aggressive. Now for yeah. sure. So is that going to be the case? People in this say fight? that uh, Deontay Wilder was the biggest punter in heavyweight boxing, but I beat him. I knocked him out, so I take that crown. I'm the biggest punter in heavyweight boxing. Me. And, and Francis, just before we wrap up here, how does it make you feel? It's, there's been so many people writing you off, giving you zero chance of winning this fight, even guys from the MMA world. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel confident because everything that I've achieved, that's how they feel about me. Seems like it's, work, it's working for me pretty good. So how do you win the fight? Usually I like to say knockout, but I don't want to lose focus against him. You look, you look, he act like a fool, but he's very, very smart. He knows I'm what not, he's I doing and he's going to get there. I, I know what he's boxing. doing. So I'm very focused and very ready from everything that's gonna come. I know this fight gonna be tough for me. So I'm not ju I don't just think that I'm gonna go there and walk through some bags and land a punch and go home. No, I'm gonna fight. Tyson, how does the fight go? I'm gonna knock him out inside six rounds. Okay. And I shall tell you how I'm gonna do it. Why not? Got on the front foot, high arm, sicking him with a punishing jab, 19, 20 stone in the face. Boom, boom, boom. Bust him up, swell his eyes out, and then faint, slip, bang. KO. On the front foot, not running away. On the front foot, hand eye, let him hit the shoulder, slip, slip, bang, slip, slip, bang. Down in the heap. Listen, no one can take my power. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. These heavyweights don't have a chance. And can you take mine? Yes, no problem. Okay. I'm like the bionic man. On your shoulder or on your, your shin? On the chin. Oh, damn. But it's my chance not to go out like this. I'm gonna keep my chin down. <laughs> Tucked away behind the oh, shoulder. No, you better, you better, <laughs> tuck, you better <laughs> tuck it. You better tuck it pretty I'm good. I'm Neo. I'm like Neo on the Matrix. Yeah. Neo. So he's told you what he's gonna do. Do you believe him? No, no, no. I'd. No, no. Come on. You better believe it. Come on. I'm gonna come out. Nice, stiff, snappy jab. Okay. Bang, doubling up. Good for Maybe you. even trouble in it. Bang, 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 bang. Jab, slip, slip, slip. Body shot, uppercut, jab, jab, faint. Bang, right hand, game wow. over. That's look like a nice. That's like a movie. That look like a script for a movie. <laughs> yeah. But as I said, as you say earlier, everybody has a plan. Until they get punched. Until they get punched in the face. Look, boys, it's been clear to see. There's a lot of respect here between both men. You respect Francis. Francis clearly respects you as well. I imagine the answer is going to be yes. But do we get a handshake? Yeah, no problem. Of course. Good luck. Good luck the best to you man too. Win. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you, Francis. You can watch this fight live on TNT Sports Box Office on October 28th. You do not want to miss this.